Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my dear. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. When I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us. Boss Talk Podcast 101. We'll pop up first in line. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you'll see all our visuals. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of this fire content we're giving out every single day. But we do have a membership section to members only there you get all of the exclusive content that man people have been asking for for a while now that's where you can find it how you get to be a member is under each and every video including this one right here in the description section there's a link that says join our membership click that link follow the instructions and you are going to be thanking us later Thank you very much for the love and support. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man, we got a special guest in there today. He really don't need no introduction, man. This man, is I'm not second special. time around. Second time around. Hey, first of all, I love, I love the, me and my, me and Mike and I, we was talking about it when I was telling him I was coming up here. We was talking about, man, uh, yeah, we on Boss Talk. Hey, that's Carlos Miller. Boss he went there. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm telling you, bro, I was thinking, I was like, man, I'm going to ask him, he going to let me redo the, uh, uh, he, he going to let me redo the intro. So he's like, nah, everybody already know it. It's going to be like the situation with 50 and Power. We gonna change it right back. Everybody like, why you got this bullshit? <laughs> Bone is in the building, y'all. Yeah. Let's get it, man. How you doing? Man, I feel good. I'm doing good. Man, you looking good, man. You're I'm looking out. old. No, mm-hmm. hell no, my man. Uncle, my uncle, he got a barbershop in uh in Arlington, right? Okay. But he, for some reason, he been cutting my hair since I was 12, but he he want to charge me for haircuts now, so that's why I look like this, because I'm not paying him for it. not and I, and I still owe him money. Yeah, I, no, still, no. I still owe him <laughs> So he's like, you came last time. Yeah. So I did it for you last time. And, didn't pay Walked out <laughs> You know what I mean So he just At this point It's just not happening But you're embracing it Because you, you're not dying And doing all that stuff like I, die, all no, these I do die I do you die. do die Yeah I do die But I just didn't this time Because oh, I was okay. just like You know I'm going boss talk I'm just you know he, he, he home now I don't mind. I'm, I'm embracing being old Why it, do you die then Because I mean because Then it be like Cause I be around, you know. Sometimes I, you just gotta do it. It just don't look right. It'd be too great. I've, It'll I've get never too great. Done it. I've never done it. Well, in my life. I mean, you know. I but never, you even when I was young younger. Young people are great, though. Some yeah, young people do great. But, but now it's starting to get excessive. I'm starting to feel like how my uh, like my granddad. Like my granddad was, you know, when I came into the world, he was already all gray. So I just thought he was always like that. But I'm now it's just starting to feel like he's getting on my jaw, my head, just everywhere. I start, I start seeing like little pieces everywhere in my hair. I was, I was like staring in a mirror like, is, is that gray? <laughs> But when you see some of these guys on stage or even, you know, some some celebrities be dying, how are you going to dye your hair and y- your face look older, but your hair looking like you 20 still? How that how that match? I don't know, but I, I do die. So, I mean, I don't know. I can't attest for everybody, but me, it makes me feel better sometimes. So sometimes I just be like too great. Right now, I don't mind too much because, you know, I'm, I'm in Texas. I'm at home. So I just, you know, it's like man, whatever. Man, every time I talk to you, you're always out and about, man. I know, Moving right? Moving around from yeah. Chicago, all over the place. It's crazy. Atlanta, you might be anywhere. Miami, you never know where Bone going to be at, man. I just left Houston, so that just was fun. Just left H-Town. How was H-Town? It was fun. That's like my favorite place. Really? Uh, yeah, I was like I ever but you know I'm a PV nigga so you know I love yeah yeah I get it I love Houston Houston is always man you gotta tell me man like like last time you came down here man I ain't gonna lie when you talked about the radio station Mm mm-hmm it pissed still, a lot of people off. Still, Wait a minute. It pissed a lot of people off. A, a lot of people hadn't came back to my show. Some people wanted to come on my show. I was denying some and others didn't want to come back. I don't know what it was, but I just know you touched a nerve with that subject of how records are not being broken down there when it comes down to the local radio station. I don't want to go into much detail because I don't want to mad at me. It's you, even a it's even a bigger gotta, it's a, even a bigger platform now. Oh yeah, I know, right? But you look at what? How many years ago was that? Like two that was years. Two years ago. Two years ago, right? In two years, no new records, right? No, I ain't I ain't heard nothing. Not. In two years, right? No new records. Uh uh-uh. uh. But they, I guess they just don't rap in these Texas. They don't they don't do no rapping. What There's, you mean? They rapping down there? You telling me something? The DJ Juice don't play it. Wow, man! Uh, uh, what's your boy Chocolate Drop like? Uh, and then after uh, when when Rainwater had said what he had said on the, on, on on Britney and them, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And them you, wait a minute, you was you, I didn't even know you and you and Bior was a thing. Yeah, that 
Old school. I didn't even know. But, but see, but did you know? No. She been on the show, and when I told her, I said he coming over, and she said, "Let me come." I said, "Whoa." We not finna pop up. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Don't do it. Don't pop. Please don't pop up on me. Please don't pop nah, up on me. That's my nah. girl too. Shout out to Bior, man. Yeah, nah, she been the same since I met her. But even on even on that podcast when Rainwater was saying that and 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 you know all of that stuff, uh, Chocolate Drop gonna put in the comments. Uh, that's for real. That that uh, uh, true or uh, facts or so. You said something in the comments, or whatever. Really? You said facts in the comments. So okay. That's fine. Like so, 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 so we can clear this up. So we can clear this up. Okay, I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Like okay, so we clear this up. The old fat pimp. It was uh, uh, for a feature for a song that I didn't even put out. It was a. Um, it, it, it was a uh, touching this paper, and I, and I got I had Trilly on it, uh, Lil D Dope, and somebody else. But I didn't even put the record out because I couldn't get the beat clear. Uh, it was something happened, so I didn't even put it out. So no, I did not pay Fat Pimp that money for that feature because I did not put that record out. You know what I'm saying? But me and Fat have done records since then. You know everything all yeah, good. Yeah. You know he was just saying. You know what I mean? Like you know I do owe him that money. I got an outstanding balance. If we just t I do, I got an outstanding balance. Like I said with my uncle. You know what I mean? Like I owe him. Like I just talked to Fat Pimp probably about two hours. Yeah, ago. I got an outstanding balance with Fat. You know what I'm saying? But he good though. He ain't gonna hurt me in there no, like Fat, that. He good, good people, people, man. Yeah, he great, he great people. people. He, he's he's good. Good. He he's a good person to owe because you know you you know you got him right yeah, when yeah, he yeah. goes, right? <laughs> you gonna always answer the phone, think you're gonna pay. Hey, you know what I mean? So fat is fat is an OG though. You know what yeah, I mean? Real. Like like real I can remember uh at a time fat was the hottest nigga in the club. Yeah. Like like it didn't matter what fat did, everything fat did was gold. So you know what I mean? From when it was rolling up the X, or uh, I'm getting money, you uh the rag daddy, like with all of that when all of that dropped at that era, like I was just telling somebody the other day, like when I used to go to GG's on the north side, movie. Like that's all you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You would just it would it would just be crazy. So nah, it's all love to Pat. I mean I mean the uh, you know uh fat pimp. But no way. That, but 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 was you kind of upset when the when they when they threw your name out there like that with no, Bior and all that? I know Rainwater, so I don't. I wasn't upset more so about that. You know what I mean? Because that's just how Rain is. You know what I mean? Rain been Rain forever. You see that shit happen with him and Mama Scott, huh? Uh she came on here. Yeah, it did got, she talk sure. about it? Oh yeah, I'm about to drop. Wait till tomorrow. The oh, whole okay, thing. it's been dropping, but I'm about to drop the whole thing okay. tomorrow. Yeah, but but I told her, I sent her a DM and I said, look at look at how all those radio DJs and Tyler and then none of them and all those other podcasts and blogs then none of them come to your defense when you, you said this nigga just got over on you though. But you suppose, but you you Mama Scott, you and he said you down here doing what nobody else in these sexes is doing for other yeah, artists. Yeah. But look how you know when somebody get over on you, you. Don't here no you nothing from uh the only one you hear from is boss talk only person that's gonna say boss something talk. only person gonna say damn that's fucked up rainwater why you beat him for the I bread like that? that why you beat him for the bread like that right why just you know what i mean like shit why you beat him you know what i mean but you know even though we know that's what he do he's he's well, notorious think, for beating well, niggas. wait a minute now because rain rain had a different scenario rain said basically he promoted for i say rain you should have paid that woman her money hey yeah. listen listen Rainwater is, is Wait a minute, have Rain, you ever done Rain, you dirty? Um mm, Let's be real. No, nah, I can't say he's ever done me there dirty. There you go. In the, in so. the, like 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 done me done me dirty cause you know what I mean. I be having Have my, you did shows with him? I've had my eyes open. You know what I mean? You did shows I with did him. two shows with him. I did, did show, you get paid? I did a show in Corpus with him and I did a show in Colleen with him. You got your back in. In Corpus I did. In Colleen I did not. <laughs> And Colleen, it, it didn't. I love y'all, man. And Colleen, it did not go the way. What happened that it, in Colleen? Here we go. Well, he was telling. It was this old lady. She owned this club. And you know. And and side note, that's the same night I made my oldest daughter. So it was. Uh, so it's all bad. Whoa. It's all bad, right? Like Whoa. it's all, all bad. So, uh, but it was this lady. She owned the club, and he had told her one price. And then, you know, my price. And then it was my price. So, you know, whatever whatever me and him had worked out. You know what I mean? So it's getting time. And I'm like, bro, when are you going to pay me? He's like, man, I'm going to just wait. I'm going to get the money. He doing that rainwater shit. So I, and so immediately when he starts doing that rainwater shit, I go to the, the lady. Where's my mother? You know, where's my, where's the bread? Oh, well, I thought I, I gave it to him. And did, you know, rainwater, rainwater. That's fine. You can rainwater all you want. As long as you pay me, pay me, and I can be a part of whatever you rain watering. Wait, but wait I'm not a gonna, Was this before, like with the first show you did uh, in Corpus? Uh, I went down there with DJ Drop, and you got paid on. I that went one. down there with Drop Nick, 
uh, and a few more people, and and everything went swell. I ain't got nothing bad to say in about but the corporate the show. One. The the Colleen show was, was a waste of my time. One? It was a waste of my absolute time. It was an absolute waste of my time. <laughs> you didn't get your back in. I did not. Damn. And I made a baby. Do you know? I'm still like she just asked me. Her, you know what her her sheen cart was? She 12 years old now. You know what her sheen cart was worth? Three hundred and sixty two dollars. I I'm trying to think at 12 years old. Like did was I like three? You know I'm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm trying three hundred. Prices went up. The sheen cart. The sheen. This Prices is sheen. Went up. It's sheen. This ain't even designer. This is sheen. Like how is it? She got a sheen? lot of stuff in there. She did. She did. Her sheen cart was three hundred sixty-two dollars. So how I'm, many I'm, items? I, I ain't even count. I was just going. <laughs> I was just doing this like Lord and mercy. Lord and mercy. She's twelve. So let me ask you this, man, and, and to jump subjects on you, man, you you definitely, when I called you and told you I was going to uh, L.A., you hooked me up with uh, Sick. That's my brother. Man, and uh, man, he gave me an epic interview. I loved it when he when he gave me his top three, and he put Big Tuck as the number the number one, right? Mm -hmm. Southside, the realest. Did it? What, what he not, but he from Dallas. I know so, it, but so that for was him, funny, it's totally but different. I, I know it. That was good to me, boy, because I didn't I didn't care. But you know, I'm a, I'm gonna amp it up. With, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, that nah, was nah, hard, man. Yeah, yeah, nah. He's still out there doing now. He's doing things with uh with the movies now. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, working yeah. on that when I met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually got that first one. She's working on another movie now. He, he he really just pulled like a like a three movie Tubi deal or some yeah, shit like that. He just pulled, he was telling me about. I don't know, but he keeps trying to get me to come to L.A. I do not like L.A. Like have that. you not been back? Not I ain't been back to L.A. in like two or three years. So you but, I seen him since you've seen. Him. Yeah, I I don't go to L.A. I go, but no no because we met in Vegas. I go to <laughs> Vegas all the time. So he'll meet me in Vegas, but I won't go to L.A. I I just go to Vegas. Why you what what's wrong with with LA? LA just it's just too I don't like the traffic. I like like I can deal like as LA traffic is worse than DC traffic and DC traffic is horrible. DC traffic yeah. in my opinion is the worst traffic in the world. But LA traffic you can literally be there just stuck. You know what I mean for hours. I just don't got the patience. Like I don't have the I don't got it. I no. just don't got it. I just don't got it. So LA, man, we've had our ups and downs trying to get across there. And DC that's wasn't that bad. That's why you don't leave till after nine o'clock. But you that's head what out I'm, on the but <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then like uh my old CEO, he stays like in, in the hills somewhere, right? You know what I mean? So it, it the Uber costs like forty dollars to get to where he stay at in LA. You you have to so, you drive to some places and catch an Uber up on in the hills. Like I, the, it's crazy. So, so you know, you just going out there. L.A. is just, it, it's just so much. You know what I mean? Like, it, and it's, I don't know. It's just a lot. And I never go to the beach. I never go to never. the beach. Never. I have not been to Venice Beach one time. So I, I <laughs> still. So it's, it's really pointless. Like I don't even understand. Like I go to Hollywood. I was last time I was, I was downtown was sick, and I just, just ready to go. Just ready to go. Wow, man. I, I, I think about like. You man, when you did that song, I got to talk about the song, man. Um, you basically was young when you did that. What advice could you give somebody who get a big hit? Listen, and then uh, how? What would? What advice would you give them? Just how they are supposed to respond to that in hindsight? Oh man, the best thing that I could tell somebody is to have "Homegirl" is the song. So I to don't to make sure that you have really really good management like that is so so important on so many different levels is having somebody that believes in you as a person believes in your goals believes in your mission and everything you're trying to do because when you have people that are just there to try to see what they can become because of your situation it doesn't benefit you know what i'm saying the overall objective to what y'all trying to do Like I was looking At one of the interviews With Big X the Plug And he was saying Like how Rosama wrote mm -hmm, And stuff like that And that's because They're there As a collective So every You know what I mean So they can make something You know we trying to Make this bigger So no matter what Everybody can have some Eventually When you And and when I first started That's what I Originally thought We were set out to do But then I found out That was not What <laughs> was on everybody's agenda. So when I found it out, I, you know, you kind of get sudden, caught in a situation to where, well, I thought the original goal and plan was for, you know, all of us to be working together to this and this. And then I found out it was supposed to work a certain way for us to work that way. Like I wasn't supposed to be the first one. The guy that made the beat for me, uh, 
uh, JB, he was supposed to be the first one. Well, because he wasn't the first one, didn't nobody want to get behind me. So, you know, it's a bunch of different dissension and different stuff like that and stuff where management could usually come in and bring things together. The manager I had at the time, his name is Torrance Riff. He stays in Fort Worth now. He's a part of a uh, some type of legal team. I don't know. Somehow, some, somehow or another, he got connected with Charlie Boy, and he was at the Grammys with Charlie. I don't know. Nick, a scammer going to get their way to the top any kind of way. But you know, he went from a manager to now he's a part of the some type of legal team. But how is he part of a legal team? And we went to Def Jam. We went to New York City. And we sat in there after L.A. Reese said he was going to give me a deal. And they brought... This fine, fine lady, million dollar lawyer. She didn't drew up these contracts. Took about four hours to drive these contracts, and he let me sit there and sign them contract. Now I learned later from uh this producer named Sounds, uh who signed the Red Zone and Sounds. He did Love in the Club and Beyonce, bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? He was walking. He told me, well, you didn't know that you could have just signed a letter of intent. I'm when he told me that that day, you. I wish I could have seen my face. Like on the the like how everything dropped in my body like I got to be the stupidest motherfucker I, you know what I mean you that's how but that's how I feel it's like why I didn't know like you can't like when you in when you own you can't be thinking about why you don't know or oh, I didn't know don't nobody give a fuck about oh well oh, I get well. it bone but you were young bro and at the end that of the shit, day that shit, when man. you went, when you went in that office first of all I'm gonna go back because you don't. Know, how did you, okay, they picked up on the song. They heard it. It was buzzing everywhere. And what? who who called you? What, what? It was, uh, man, I was, uh, it was, Tony Neal set it up. Okay. And then uh, it was Eric Parler. He was, uh, he was doing the radio for Def Jam at the time. I think he works at, I don't know where EP work at now. He works somewhere, but. If you look up Eric Parler, you know, he was, you were everybody in the he game. In the mix. He, he big shit. So he called. Uh, with a quick mix Rick on the phone. And then from that point, you know, shit, they got me a plane ticket. Uh, that was a Wednesday. They got me a plane ticket for Thursday. I flew to Atlanta that night. And then I flew to New York Friday. So. And you sitting in there. Now, you said that was Leo Cohen and all them was they part of it? wasn't Leo. It was Tricky and it was uh, uh, um, uh, L.A. Reed. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, Leo and them had left by then. Okay, so L.A. Reed, he... he Leo, seen, I think Leo was at Warner at that time. Okay, he seen something in you, though. He seen... Uh, I, I, yeah, I mean, he was... The whole time, He, you know, he was a drummer when he was with the deal. And uh, the whole time, he was... You know what I'm saying? He had pulled the sticks out, pad, whole nine. So he was feeling it. And then it's been a couple of separate times where me and L.A. just had conversations, you know, just chopped it up. And, you know, it was all good. So, you know, everything was good, but... He told me something then that I didn't understand, and it took me probably like five, six years to figure out. He told me, uh, do everything right. And by that time, I was doing everything wrong. So I'm telling you, again, that was another heart-dropping moment where I just like... You thought about five years later. That's what he was talking about. Yeah, now I understand what do everything right means, but then I didn't understand But you got to think about it. Like Nelly and it's all kind of people with the same story. Even uh, UGK talks about it, how when they signed the deal with, with uh, Jive, they, somebody came. I don't want to say it was uh, a K KRS-One or somebody came. I don't... I, came, I might be saying that wrong, but somebody showed up as soon as they signed and was like, did you sign already? And was trying to educate them on what they had just got themselves into yeah. they didn't even understand so I think those stories happen a lot of people feel like when you first getting into the business but that I you gotta people, take a hit but I encourage people to take that it's nothing wrong with taking that deal like like especially because you nobody you know what I mean like like I was nobody so I, I'm not upset that I took the deal it was the way I did it you know what I mean like I could have been way more professional or I could have used that contract and lobbied to get some more money because Jive wanted to sign me too but I didn't even go over there and meet with Jive I just went straight to Def Jam shit L.A. Reed brought the contract nigga this is it you know what I mean we here you know what I mean like it's going down do. I, but I was I was excited wow I just I, I like I said anytime I deal with with these interviews now I see that each story there's always I mean I remember even old boy Prince and them, when they talk about the stanky leg and they talk about the fact of how you know, uh, one of the guys came over here and he was really, really upset. He didn't go to the BET Awards here recently when they did the performance. Mm -hmm. He's still battling depression because of what Which he went one? through. I can't even, what's that one, DK? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He he kind of he was the singer. He was a singer. He said that was a singing group at first. I always think about what he said, and then they pushed him to the back or whatever. And Young Jock, you know, shout out to Young Jock. He oh, said, you shout know, he went Jock. through it, man. You know, but these but guys, Jock, some Jock, people can't but, but, get but, but, back. But, but most some people, people can't but, figure out how to get back once they go through a situation. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. And and like I said, it was a blessing for me that I had school to fall back on because if I had not had that and I had to just kind of stay out here and figure it out I don't know what I would have you know who knows cause you know I see a bunch of stories with a bunch of people and you know you just kind of feel like well shit you know I, I understand you know I can relate where most people can't relate I, I can definitely relate so I'm just I'm, I'm kind of blessed I thank Prairie View for that a do lot do you think your song was a part of the boogie movement era yeah definitely it I didn't have no dance uh, what that mean just cause it wasn't no dance you know what I'm saying <laughs> Yours was straight at the next. Yeah, yeah, but you just because it wasn't no dance, it still it was still a it was still a. When I made it, that was the intention. Really, you know, what I mean, my you know, when I made it, the intention was to get everybody at Prairie View to dance to it. That whole so, jamming. Though. So that was my that was the only intention I had. I ain't had no intention for nothing else other than maybe this would be good enough to where, you know, they play it at the parties. Wow, and and. Do you think the song cause we had a I had a guy on here that talked about show show had have a song called No nah for Real and I, I love uh, that Big Homie Show yeah yeah Big Homie Show and and my boy uh, uh, Mister Hit that said the song was so big that it was so big that it kind of like like it was bigger than than you you kind of got lost in the song and didn't even think about the artist to a point to what he was saying. Do you feel like your song was just huge? Because you had a big song, man. Yeah, yeah, I think that that's the case too. But at the same time, you know, that's that's what you want. You, yeah. want, you want the music to be more than a face. You know what I mean? Like, fortunately for me, my song has lasted 15 plus years. You know what I mean? You know, where is... I can have a gray face. I can have, you know, a black beard, you know, whatever. And they still rock with it. And they still rock with it. So, you know what I mean? I, You know, it's it's a gift and a curse. It's a double-edged sword. How was it? The music video and just that time, like, when you was going through all, doing all of that, run me back into how was that Ooh, situation? man. The same uncle I told you about that cut my hair? Yeah. yeah. Fucked up my hair the day of the video. Swear to God. Edge up. Cricket as fuck. It was like this. Swear to God. He fucked it up. Like, horrible. I, I, I to this day, still think he did it on purpose. Purpose. What? I think he did on purpose. I think he sabotaged me. I think he did it on purpose. I love him. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's my... The he, one you owe the money? Yeah, he's my favorite uncle. Like, raised me. Like, I act a lot like my... Like, 90% of my mannerisms are like put, him. You think he put you out there like I that, I think he bro? sabotaged me. Come I, on, my, man. I, I, I'm just telling you. Are I'm, you serious? I have to be... You know, I have to go to therapy, and I have to be honest mm -hmm. with myself. You know what I mean? And and you have to be honest about everything. And if you're not honest, then you, and you continue to lie to yourself, and then you keep battling the same depression so you have to be honest and you have to accept that you know that might have happened you know what i mean do you hear this <laughs> he's cut my hair <laughs> since i was 12 years old right since i was 12 okay at that point i was 22 never now the worst thing he'll do because he has really sharp blades like he'll leave like a little scar but it's a video so i can have a scar for a day you know what i mean because tomorrow when it whenever the scab comes or whatever the video is over so it doesn't matter i can i can make it 24 hours to do the video but i cannot make it if my edge up is like this it was fucked it was literally like this fucked up i swear to god stop man you gonna make us go back and look for you that can go video. look because mr boomtown and I, mr boomtown is so great that's how great mr boomtown is he went and called in some lady that do makeup and this lady that did makeup Fix that shit with the make. That's why makeup ladies deserve everything they get. Like every when they be on them sets also, and do that shit. Also, we can't see it in the video. Then you can't. That's how cold she was. I wish I knew her name so I could like. I, Give I, her I, roses. I, shit, I wish I could. I had to call Town. We had to go down a long laundry list because I he probably don't remember. But that lady that day saved the day. Cause had she not saved, they was gonna shut that bitch down. We wouldn't even go shoot the video that day. That's how fucked up it was. Hat couldn't save it. And, and you can't even see it with the hat. That's how fucked up it was. Wow. wow. But she came through with the with the blush and and and, and the pen. <laughs> I just really like that song was big and and during that time, you got to think about it, man. We where the wave was on the West Coast really like, right? Well, at that time, the uh, West Coast was banging no, at that no, time. No, 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 no. At that time, it was a uh, 
it was really wide open because it was right after the snap movement. So snap had just so had, Atlanta was doing it. So so Atlanta had the snap movement, but you and know, the black tees. But but it kind of it kind of faded. and the white tees. Yeah, it kind of faded. The snap movement faded because of Gucci. I mean Gucci and Jeezy. You know, yeah, when yeah. Jeezy got hot, then everything went back to trapping. So you know, wasn't nobody really doing you know doing the snap music and shit like that no more. You know what I mean? Until uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. What 2007, 2008, Jeezy dropped again. Yeah. So then for so from about 2008 to 2011 until well, probably say 10 because I give you Walker. So about two, it was all Dallas. It was all Dallas Boogie, all that stuff. So. So I gotta ask you this question because this has been really um, getting annoying. I know we talked a little bit off air and stuff like that, but. Um, why is it because you've been in this profession for how long 15 15 years so why is it that when celebrities get big mm -hmm. and they're going to go do promo runs why do they never start in their hometown why do they never start in their region as in like you're from the south uh, why do they never start think, there's so many podcasters and radio stations here why would they go up west north all of those places before they even come back here oh uh, well it okay. When you when you say that, you have to ask what label they're signed to. Okay. And then most of the time, the label has PR people or you know people that handle these things, and they just have relationships with. I mean, you have to think New York is always going to be New York. It's the mm -hmm. mecca, so everything there is always super important. Like I just seen Sauce Walker had did the Breakfast Club. You know what I mean? Like and so that's a big step for him. You know what I mean? But Angie Martinez, uh, uh, Sway in the Morning, uh, Ebro, all of these different things, you know what I'm saying? Because of the the reputation they built as a media market, it draws people to go there first. And then from that point, you know, people just kind of, you know how it is, New York, LA, Miami, Chicago, people just kind of look at the big city. If you can make it in the big city, you can make it anywhere, more situation. But, that's why I was uh, telling my friend NK it was so important for us to come here because the audience that y'all have grown, you know what I'm saying, in the past three, four years has made it to where people that on the way to work, they listen to a Boss Talk podcast. Mm -hmm. People that are scrolling on Facebook, like I said, I get, I get OG Percy popping up. You know, I feel like every day, you know what I mean? Uh, y'all have embedded your, uh, yourselves into the the life algorithm of so many people that you know what I mean it's it's just as important as doing uh, a sway or Angie or a uh, Joe Budden podcast or something like that I just think that a lot of times people want the recognition from other places and being recognized here isn't as important or in your hometown as important as it is in other places it's just perspective. Yeah, because even like when you talk about labels, because right now in today's society, you have a lot more people are independent mm -hmm. and doing their own thing rather than being signed to a label. But they still continue to do that as in to go abroad first, as in like further away. But see, even today, it's not a true independent. A lot of times it's a, like what, what used to be considered independent is what now major labels do. Because if you look at like what Empire does, Empire with... And in ninety seven, ninety eight would be considered independent. You know what I mean? But now they're like a big boy. You know what I mean? Everybody wanna go to Empire or even what three hundred does. Like they would be considered independence. But because of the way that everything has gone to streaming and different things like that with the music that independence can act like big boys and really kinda of fool you, just you know, get in your way. You know but, how that go. But you the song, like I said, with it being as big as it was, you know, um, it's hard for people to get a big song, man. I've been noticing that. It ain't as easy as people would think. They, 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 but the thing is, about I'm telling that. you, everybody rapping, but the big song movement, where is it at? You'll get a that one I remember. Because bow, it's not, bow, it's bow, 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 you know, that it's one. not, it's not, it's not sexy no, red. Or but something. there's no focus on music. It's more focus on make something that's cool and then get on the internet and be popular. It's easier to be popular on the internet and have like some a record that everybody listens to, opposed than to like put in the work and effort to try to make a really really great song, because that's hard to do. I, I haven't been able to do it twice. That's how hard it is. Man, to do. Uh, Pharrell did because I'm happy. People, that was a huge song. 
That you ain't, yeah, but, yeah, but you got you think, but 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 and and this is like what I tell Scarface people. did a ne- never seen a man die cry until I seen a man die. Like there are big songs, but, but then the but, movement don't come back. But they took that. But to make those songs, they took months. Like those songs took months. Those songs took thousands, thousands of dollars to make those songs. Nowadays, people are recording. You gotta. It take fifteen hundred dollars get a Pro Tools set up, computer, record a song. You know what I'm saying? Get it halfway sounding good and you can drop it on United Masters for free. Go shoot a video for $350, $400, then drop it on YouTube. Bone, what's the big song out right now? Ooh. I mean, what? (laughs) You have to ask where and just period? I don't know. I would have to say, uh, what? TGIF? I would say TGIF, but I'm in the club a lot, so you have to like TGIF. you have to excuse me. I'm in the club a lot. <laughs> so I'm just trying to see how this music have changed and it and evolved, bro. Well, the evolution is the female. That's the evolution. Now the female runs hip hop, and it's been you know what I mean. Beforehand, they did a really good job of making the words like one or two a year. Now everywhere I go, it's a female rapper. I got this one female rapper I'm working with out of St. Louis now. How, how how I met her, I didn't even know she rapped. And then one day, uh, I'm with my homie, and he was like, "Hey man, listen to listen to her, bro. She 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 got she got this song." So I'm like, "Okay, you know what I mean." I a million times, right? I'm listening to her, and I'm like, "Well, I'll be damned. You know, I'm like this is actually dope." So I actually like uh, I paid for a studio time so she could go to the studio recorded it. She had never, she was just been like rapping in the house, finding be so YouTube rapping in the house. She had never recorded before. Wow, do you when you think about these rappers now? See, when you first came in the game, all this was 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 people going to prison and the internet wasn't here, so it wasn't. Of course, they were going and killing was going on, but but do but, you remember people being? Like so gangster and that had to be the purpose to get them to Twisted Black celebrity? Twisted Black. He was the only one. Twisted Black. No, I'm just saying Twisted Black is an example, so yes. Like like Twisted Black was hot as shit. And all I remember, I remember. And all I remember after uh, uh, Twisted Black in jail. I don't know what he went to jail for. I don't you know what I'm saying? I don't think he did it. You ask me, but all I know is he, he I don't was know what he went to jail for. I don't think he did it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he he was definitely I can remember we used to be out here, you know what I'm saying, till my cup, I'm a po my Oh yeah. Right twenty, 20 something, something, something under my caprice. I'm, I'm a fool. Like I can literally remember it like, damn man, you know what I'm saying? And then all of my partners was from Fort Worth, so they were super geek. Like, no, oh, no, twisted, twisted is twisted is you know, twisted the guy, twisted the guy. So, yeah, nah, the gangster shit been going on, been occurring. And then you got to think about what the early Dallas music was. It was all fight music. Explain that. Uh, tussle. I'm going to do something bad to you. It was all fight music. Everything that Dallas what? artists made, like a Dallas artist, everything they made before the boogie was knock a nigga out shit. Everything was fight music. Like Oak Cliff, think about the Oak Cliff song. Oak Cliff song is a fight song. That's literally a call to arms. <laughs> it's really true when you it's think a, about it's it. It's a call to arms. It's basically telling everybody else in Dallas, this is where I'm from. I'm from Oak Cliff. Fuck you niggas. What's up? And that's what it is. Damn. Damn, man. So I, I sometimes think about it, man. Like, do you think, okay, you, you look at Rain and you look at the different people that manage these these artists. Where is the money at? Where is the bag of money at? Is there money in the music like that? Yes. Trying to build an artist up from nothing. Yes, it's, How it's, do that artist man can maintain money? If, if they're not doing shows, if they're waiting a South by Southwest to only perform there and then wait a whole nother year, is it in the streams? No, streaming don't pay nothing. That's what Snoop Dogg said. I just, I just got it. I would, I would, I, I'm embarrassed to tell you what my, my, I just got like my royalty check. Like today, I'm, I'm embarrassed to tell you. I, I wouldn't even, I, I don't even put it out there. Buddy. I'm not, because they're not going to embarrass me. Oh, this for me, motherfuckers to be like, you know? no. They why don't, do you think that the streaming is such, such, why did they do they it, it like that? They set it up on purpose because have you, okay, whenever you get a chance, watch, uh, go to Paramount Plus and watch, uh, um, 
I forgot what the name of it is, but it's a, it's a documentary about how it was this packaging plant in North Carolina, the packaging plant that was making all the CDs, and it was a nigga in there stealing all the CDs. Well, he got cool with some niggas on the dark web, and he started giving them all the music early before release, and that's how everything just kept getting leaked. You know how everything was always leak. It was a leak, 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 and they start believing it. It was this one nigga in North Carolina that was leaking everything. He was leaking. Wow. He was leaking everything. So because of those leaks, and they couldn't figure it out, and niggas was losing money. You know what I mean? Eventually, and they and and they were putting it on the internet. So eventually, they they found a way. Since they, you know, y'all love the internet so much, we'll put this whole thing on in there for you, song by song, ninety nine cent. Come get it. Or you could just stream the whole thing, just pay us five ninety nine a month. Like Napster or something like that. Yeah, but but it was Napster, Livewire, all that shit was, was was that shit fucked up the game so bad to where now, like you got to think back in the day they used to give like million dollar you know what I'm saying advances and shit like that. They not giving that out no more. Like beforehand, you had a two hundred fifty, four hundred thousand dollar recording budget. You're not getting that no more. Beforehand, you had artist development. You're not getting that no more. All of the things you used to have in the in the in the old days, they cut it out because that's where the money was going. And they were making so much money in the music industry. You could pay a motherfucker to teach a motherfucker how to be an artist. You could pay a motherfucker to sit in the studio for seven six hours until we can get one song. I was looking at the. Uh, the on Netflix, the documentary on on the guy that that, that had created a uh, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys and shit, and he had created this other group. I think it's called Nature or some shit like that. And they had they went gold, five hundred five hundred thousand sales. Well, of course, all he did was just buy five hundred thousand copies of the shit and make it sick, make the shit win gold. You know what I mean? He was a scammer. That's what con men do. But 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 all the other records, the buy buy buy, the you know what I'm saying the mother shits, they was those were real records. Like those, that shit was all organic. But some of that shit that he did with the other shits, the Brook Brook Hogan and all them, you know, he had to buy some shit. You know what I mean to make the shit keep going. But. It was money into that because he was making so much money with Backstreet. He making so much money with Instinct that you can spend five hundred thousand, how much ever it take to go gold for this artist to make it look like your label successful. Now they can't play like that. Like, like I said, you know, Lior went from Def Jam to Warner, now the three hundred. You know what I mean? Like, you even look at Drake. Drake situation with Universal to to uh, he did the, the 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 ten million with Warner, and now he got ownership with with Gamma and shit. Like. Artists couldn't do that beforehand, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like being able to maneuver like that. So it's 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 options. It's good and bad for for artists starting out. It's it's a rough turn, but if you can make it to where you have some longevity, then you can find yourself into an ownership position a lot faster than you could before. So the movies and and the way that like Fifty, you know, starting out rap, but then ending up, you know, being a a movie, you know, tycoon, tycoon. <laughs> what do you uh, what do you think when you see that transformation and are you interested in doing things like that? It's 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 actually motivating and that's and part of that, that's what part else? that's part of the reason why I'm here because uh like I like I was telling you I actually just did a documentary uh and I, I brought my subject here with me. Oh yeah, uh, we about to we about yeah, to talk yeah, yeah, about yeah. that. Miss uh yeah. Miss N K but, but, let's bring but, but NK. just being able to just being able to do that and and doing it with her and actually sitting and shooting it and getting it edited and going through the whole process is something I've never done before. You know, wow. usually everything for me is always like for the past 15 years, it's just been music, 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 you know, book shows, go here, catch flights, hotels, drop out. You know, everything about music I've been consumed with for the past 15 years. And then now just doing this with her just the past couple months, it's been like learning something new. And I haven't learned in so long to where you know what I mean like having to do this okay well I need to do this or I need to do this like seeing this if I would have had this when we shot it that shit would have went so much better like I, like I'm seeing this now like damn you know and, and then looking at the cameras and all the angles y'all got it's like it's so many different things that I didn't do but I just didn't have the knowledge you know what yeah, I mean yeah, same yeah. for but I still put the effort through because you know that's the type of person I was that's kind of how I was with homegirl I didn't know what I was doing when I started pushing that shit I'd be in the club from 9 till 5 I go from the regular club to what, what was a uh goddamn what was a, a enigma 
uh, off Preston on the north side. I go to Enigma uh, from nine to two, then go to the after hours. Uh, go to GG, you know what I'm saying? What G? It's Ti Boulevard. Some I forgot what it was off Ti Boulevard. That's the after there. hours. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I go yeah. to the after hours. It's like a biker club too. I go to the I go to the after hours of Ti Boulevard for, from two to five, and just to hear my song for three minutes. You know what I mean? So I just kind of been applying that same energy, that same focus that I had early on into this because. That's the only thing I can apply it to, you know what I mean? And it's actually been refreshing because I haven't felt like that since then. Wow. That's dope, man, to be honest with you. You, you for you to find something else that gets you going. Yeah, and that, it's, it's, that, it's been crazy. I didn't, I didn't think I would find anything else, honestly. Like I've real life been searching, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. for something to like kinda get my attention to motivate me to stop being so one way, just one thing. But this has really been going on. But the documentary that I, I've been working on with NK is about, uh, I like to call him the hip hop con man. His name is Andre Van. He goes by, uh, his nickname is G Geppetto Jackson, Maga Jackson. Uh, but he's been telling everybody that he's uh, Jermaine Jackson's illegitimate son. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's and he had encounters with a bunch of people, uh, uh, Flip being one of them. Uh, and you know what I mean? Just on some crazy shit. Uh, but he's been doing this probably about like, 15, 20 years and just you know what I mean just just scamming people out of massive amounts of money you know what I mean just shit's been crazy have I'm, he still been doing it? still been doing it like and Kate so what's I'm going on? I'm how you doing? Welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for having me here. Oh man it's good to have you man so so uh, this documentary how did you guys link up to even do this work together? Yes, I, I met Bone at, uh, in Texas. <coughs> I was doing some charity work and um, just uh, volunteering for saving the kids. And he was there and he joined us and he cooked for us. It was real quiet, <laughs> didn't say much. And then I kind of told him my story. And uh, I've been going through this for like three years. It's been literally um, hell. So Bone just kind of just... From nowhere, he has so much passion about this, even sometimes more than I do. And he's worked really hard, and we're we're gonna. This is the first um, program we're having together, but uh, we have a lot of big plans to make sure that we get this guy um, all the fame that he wants. But so this guy, now let's let's go all the way into it. Yeah. You know, like what? How does this happen? Yeah, it's crazy, but. Um, his name is like um, Bone said, his name is Andre Van. Um, he calls himself Geppetto Jackson. He has somehow deluded himself to a point where he actually thinks he's Jermaine Jackson's son. So from when he was like, I would say 17, he has literally scammed so many people, celebrities, um, all kinds of people. I mean, just put his name on YouTube, you would be surprised. And um, he has used that name for so long. Uh, I met him, well, long story short, I met him in 2021. Not met him face to face, but got in contact with him. And somehow, the How did you get in contact with him? Like, you just saw him and you, you just... So, no, so uh, we, again, it was about saving the children and he assumed someone else's um, identity, identity mm -hmm. and was talking to me as if they were saving the kids. Okay, and got it. My grand mother has always saved the kids she lives okay. in nigeria i'm nigerian born but i've been in america 20 tell him who years. he was impersonating okay so he was impersonating megan walsh at that okay. time at that you know time. who megan walsh is john walsh's daughter right. yeah yes he was, he was uh, um, america's most a wanted daughter? so apparently they were in a relationship at the time and in real life actually megan's children were being taken away f from her by her father. So, you know, he, he, he does that. He has to do that because he went to jail. He wasn't allowed to be on the internet at the time. So he somehow by sh stroke of luck starts dating her, gets her pregnant mm. while her children are being taken, taken away. away and says, well, let me use, let me try and get money so we can save the children. So we're all in the save the children kind of association. So I just jump into action and before you know it, um, I would say within six months, and this is the short form of the story, I was out of four hundred thousand dollars. 
Yes. Um, he hit you for 400000 Yes, and that's not even... I mean, he hit another guy for like one forty at the same time. And is this the same guy who same is guy. trying to be Jermaine Jackson's? Yeah. He, so he's taking on multiple yes, exactly. identities. So you're exactly. going out campaigning and getting the money yeah. to try to save the save children. The children. It's Megan Walsh's children especially. And it wasn't that it was supposed to... You know, it started little, but... This is his. Um, How do you know it was four hundred thousand? Um, we uh, we have added it up. Actually, we're in court right now. Um, I have a court date with him October fourth, but he is in jail. Thanks to Bone and all the rest of us who have worked very, very hard. He finally went to jail. So yeah. man, uh, he um uh he he's ordered because he's been doing this for a while. So he's been ordered to pay restitution, and he he wasn't able to pay his restitution. So he's been in jail for failure to pay restitution. So wow. how long has okay after y'all did y'all research? Yes, ma'am. How long has he start? When did he start doing all of this scamming? Like how long? Since has he was seventeen. Oh, so he started the doing the, the scamming. Seventeen. 17. Yeah. When he was and seventeen. And he's forty right now. And he's forty. Yeah. How long okay. he been locked up? This time. August first. Oh, he just mm -hmm. got yeah, locked yeah. up. So. But the first time and the only time he's been locked up was for four years, um, from two seventeen to twenty twenty one for. I think he had stolen 60k from a lady and so he is on probation till 2046 but he's I, I always say he has like nine lives um immediately he came out in 2021 he immediately started, started scamming, scamming again, again even on probation um so this is the thing we have fought very very hard i mean it didn't stop it never stopped so the the whole basis of the documentary is around this whole uh, you know the con game, the the the, the deception. Yeah, yeah. And specifically uh, her interaction with him. You know what I mean? Like we, I'm still doing more research to find out more people and more stuff that he's done because, like I said, this is a, a over damn near 20 year career mm -hmm. uh, that that you know he's been doing this. He's a uh, he's a true professional con man. Like he's not just a scammer. It's, you have a difference between scammers and con men. Mm -hmm. This is a con man. He's right. a professional American con man. Like he will do anything. He will assume different identity. He's he already assumes an, a different identity. You know what I mean? He walks around with it. So to to assume another one is nothing. You know what I mean? And I just think so uh, do he we, we do we go go back to who he really is when you start to research him who was that's this what guy I, yeah. but, but not that, even just that but what got him into doing what he yeah. who taught him that where you did know, he get that you from? know one day he's gonna come to boss talk and y'all really? can and, and, and y'all can <laughs> you know break it down and get that game from him but he will he is very good at uh not telling his story you know what I mean, or only telling the story that that he, he wants to talk. Yeah, it makes yeah. you wonder if it's really true. Who he's yeah. who he's portraying at the time. Yeah, right. He like like to I I've done countless hours that I shouldn't have been doing of research to try to find just like high school pictures or, or you know people from parents? high school. Yeah, I actually know his mother. Um, yeah, have you spoken Not, to her? I have. When um, he was scamming me once, she actually. Um, enables him. He's she's also okay. part of the scam. Yeah. Okay. He's and he has. He's just. Um, he's really good at what he does. But when you look right into it, it's dumb because he literally leaves a trail of evidence everywhere. So my goal is he has silenced his victims, especially women. So he actually dates these women. Uh, my case was totally different, but mm. he dates them. He gets something. You know, he'll get some picture or something that he can blackmail you with and he silences them so there are victims all over the country that have refused and they won't testify they won't say a word or say anything i mean they will not say a word okay. but even if okay hold on i have a question yes, so even yes. if they did come up and say something because he went to prison for scamming someone before mm -hmm. and it was only this short period of time so if even if everybody comes up and say this is what they did he did how much time would that allow him in yeah. prison you know it He'll come right back out and do it again. And that's what we're trying to do this time. My goal, because I'm a psych nurse practitioner in real life, and so um, this is this is very different for me, but my voice has to be heard. And that's what I want to do is to keep him. He's in jail right now, but he might just come out. Right. You know, it's just uh, we, have, we have done a lot of things since March to stop him, a lot of awareness, including me, um, Meeting the Jacksons, and Boone was right there with me. Wow. He wasn't in in there, but he was at the concert. 
And the Jacksons did not know that there's this guy using their name for 20-something years. Like, really, they came to Portsmouth. It was a stroke of luck, and Bone was there to do this documentary. On the same day, June 22nd, and um, kind of heard they were coming. I went into action, and literally chance got me so to Jermaine speak was to there? Jermaine mm -hmm. is not part of the group anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He don't do the, I think he stayed, but I, and I think that's why he picked Jermaine because Jermaine mm -hmm. stays in Europe. Yeah, it, no, so, Saudi Arabia, somewhere in, some, somewhere up there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, don't, he ain't in America. He so, America. So it's an easy target, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because it's hard for to verify, he not gonna waste his time, he mm -hmm. not, you know what I mean? So it's just easy, and then he's, the towns and places that he picks, easy places, mm -hmm. so. What was their response to they the whole thing? They were literally in shock. Like, I was sitting with them like I'm sitting with you guys right after the show. Um, and you showed them evidence? I showed them evidence. I showed them evidence. I'm still, wor I mean, we're waiting to see, you know, this was just in June. And they, they were beside, the, you could hear a pin drop. And I said, the only people that can stop this guy is you. And, uh, like, I've literally formed... Um, uh, my own thing and it's called Surviving Andre um, because <laughs> honestly Damn. I that's the name of the documentary yeah. Wow. Yeah. Surviving, yeah. Andre. Uh, Surviving Andre is registered everything I don't know where it's taking me but let's go I, back I, we're gonna go I wanna go back to, yes, to when you realized that you was being you know surviving what's his name Andre, Andre. Surviving Andre now, I wanna go back to when you first felt like damn like you got me yeah. when did you know so I literally oh, found out on my birthday, March 11, 2022, and I met Megan, who we later found out was Andre, um, impersonating her, impersonating her at the same time. So for six months now, not to mention he has this 70 year old man. How did he impersonate her voice and stuff? Well, it was on Facebook. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so he kind of catfished you. Yeah, catfished me. But not only that, he literally catfished me with Megan for like three weeks and then they basically killed her character and said she was suicidal, uh, she couldn't pay me my money and he came in and said, whoa, I'm whoa, gonna take whoa, care whoa. of this. So she basically, as Megan, how much money did he get from you? Oh, 100,000 easy in the first three weeks. Because he was saying he was trying to get the kids. Kids, lawyers, the kids. house, all of that. And it was real life. So you see Megan really begging for her children. So he scammed me on real life facts. But this is the kicker. You he, would have never known. Uh, never, never. This is the kicker. He has this lady called Juanita McDonald. Juanita What's her other name? Coretta? Jackson. No, 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 she's not a Jackson. Yeah, but, I know, yeah, but I've seen her yeah. names. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's 70 years old and she stood in as her manager. Now, imagine a 70 year old woman who comes to find out they were actually in a relationship. So, yeah. In a relationship? In a relationship. In a relationship. So, she's telling Wait, me. So, he's yeah, 38 yeah, going with a 70, 70 year old. She's 70 years old, yeah. Andre, uh, Andre Hale, ain't he? He, 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 on wheels. On wheels. <laughs> so she's, uh, she, but she knew, she knew. They had known each other from before he went to jail. She knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. She just, she she's basically, in love. she's in love. She, and he, he, ultimately, he used her because he was with Megan and her at the same damn time. So he gave so. you, you gave him, what, 50,000 one time? No, so, no, no, it just kept going. It's it just kept going. 20, yeah, yeah, just big chunks. Anytime he would, he would say, we need to get this money, she would say, we need to get this money, I need at least 50,000 in order yeah. to make this happen. Yeah. And you go start telling everybody, yeah. we're gonna need this 50, you go well, around Well, it was to, my money, I didn't go to anybody. Huh? It was all my money wasn't anybody. I didn't think I was going to give that kind of money, but this is what he does. He get, he will take every drop of your money. So it was all my you money. You went into your own bank account. Let me get yeah. on the mic on this. Yes, you sir. went into your, your own bank account. Well, I didn't even know I had that kind of money. So, you know, it was like a slippery soap. Well, if you don't give me this, then... So, in other words, he killed Megan's character by three weeks and told me, you know, Megan's pregnant, which she was. They ended up having a baby together. So check this, this story is crazy. But they ended up having a baby together. So when I am asking Megan for my money, Megan's like, well, I'm well, In three weeks, how much money was you asking? Almost, almost 100,000. 100, yes, so she had, you, she had give, okay, you said, uh, 
You said, give me, uh, she said, what was the first amount that she asked you for? It was, I gave a donation of $5,000. That's how they started. Yes, that's how started. Started. So in their brain, yeah, in their <laughs> brain, this, this woman has money. Yes, yeah, exactly. And then when it was back. a donation. Then it came back with, you know, she had this documentary she was doing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And basically, her father had, was taking the kids and, uh, the ch if they had a house and lo the lawyers and everything, they wouldn't take the kids. They had taken them, but she had How a much chance that going to cost? It just started, it was little at a time. I moved out, 12,000, So when yeah. was the big amount, the so, first big amount, and what really, what really was said to really touch your heart where you're like, I got to give them okay, I got to give this. They needed a house and they needed money in the account to show John Walsh and his wife because it's the truth. John Walsh and his wife were taking Megan's children. She's finally lost permanent cost custody of all her children. But that was the big thing. And like I said, uh, growing up in Nigeria, my grandmother has adopted and fostered almost 300 children. So it was just something. If he came as Andre Van, he wouldn't have had a dime. That's right. the truth. But children were involved and he pulled on my heartstrings and then they just continued and continued. And like I said, he comes in, I'm Andre and you know, he was telling me about himself as Megan, you know? Then he's like, look, Megan's really sick because of these kids. I'm gonna save the day. I'm gonna give you your money back. I mean, he's pretty good at what he does. That's after he then got you for 100K. He probably did his research on you before he even did any of this I to really you. I really believe it. He actually- Because for him to know how to tug on those strings to get yes, you. Yeah. It Who, how reason. did he know you had that kind of finance? He didn't even know. He just was, he, he didn't. I guess when I gave the first donation, he just assumed, yeah, that, you know, and then as Megan, he really got close to me and, and everything. My husband's military would just, he just, he you started very letting smart. him in and telling yeah, him things yeah, about you. He was and very close to my family, like he, as Andre. So, right. he, yeah, he, he's that smart. He's that smart. What did um, your husband have to say about the whole thing? Well, at first he didn't, we, I, he, he didn't know that it, it had, it was going on, and I didn't even think it would get that far. But so you, he didn't know you were given this amount of money. So he didn't even know when I started the first amount of money, and then after Megan, and he comes in, then I let him know, and then after that, um, yeah. Wait a minute. First of all, let me stop you right quick. Yeah. Um, y'all had some bread. If you, if he didn't know, <laughs> y'all were playing with some paper over there. Yeah. It well, wasn't no. <laughs> let me tell you something. We got money. If money start leaving our account right now. <laughs> It'll take me maybe a week or two, <laughs> but I'm going out because we, we, we playing with paper here. No, we just work hard. We no, work no, hard. no, no, no. You got a separate account or something no, going no, on. No, no, I, he had, it was, uh, no, but I, I handle the At money. the time, how much money did y'all have? Let's be real. Cause that was a while back. Well, Let's talk was, about okay, it. Okay, it was COVID, and remember. How I much can, money did y'all have? I would. She not gonna tell me. <laughs> no, she can tell that. How much money? That was it. <laughs> well, how much? But he took a whole lot. How much money? I don't y all. remember. Y'all have <laughs> <laughs> 1.2 million. <laughs> Why <laughs> you say that? You messing this whole I interview. I, I, try try to to get, I try to get another Andre. How on much me. money did y'all have? Let's just say. Let's just say after Andre, I'm I'm broke. No, nah, you ain't broke. You still ain't broke. Yeah, it ain't no way. Cause you think you think millions if you got a four. You gave four hundred thousand. That's just your time. No, money. That, no, you know what I'm talking about? No, that, no that yeah, was, that was time money. Man, he, you was, know he was taking it from all angles. It was from all angles. No, I didn't even have the four hundred to give. I mean, we are okay, but I didn't have the four hundred to give. But no, did no, you no, ever Andre. go take out a loan on your house to give him money? No, I didn't take out. Did a you loan. ever go sell a car to give him money? No. So you had this money. <laughs> some, of, some of it was on my credit card. So it was buying Jackson tickets and all kinds of stuff. Oh, some you was doing all kinds of stuff to yeah. try to get him the money. So yeah, he was basically saying that this was what he had to do to pay me my, but it, like I said, it was more of that older woman, Juanita, that, and she, she, she does have something called J-Mac Records. Now, who knows what they do? I don't know. All I know is, um, we're in court right now. I got a good lawyer. I was trying to get a criminal record, but um, they advised me to do civil, and I'm doing what civil. What did your husband say? That, 
My husband's a good man. I mean, he was talking to my whole family. After a while, he was talking to my husband, my kids, everybody. We were all rooting for him. I mean, this is a, you'll see the documentary, so, but it's a big thing. My question is, mm -hmm. what was that point w that made you be like, I don't think this is right. Something yeah. is wrong. Yeah, so, um, so in February, I mean, Bone, you want to talk about Trump letter? Oh yeah, go ahead, okay. go ahead. Everything. So this, 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 this is man. This is my guy. You okay. gotta tell him everything. You gotta tell him everything. How much you had? I know. <laughs> oh, no. I accept that. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, you play with that paper. Yeah. I already know numbers. Let me tell you how. Let me tell you how bold this guy is. So he was, was calling himself Maga Jackson. Mm -hmm. So he literally was act singing songs, you know, and okay. and um. And basically what happened was he's actually in recording studios, he's singing songs, he's paying people cameos, even paid some of uh, Trump's kids. And that's how he yeah. ran into Flip. Yeah. So he was- He ran into Flip how? With the Maga Jackson hustle. Oh, oh he, he owned it, he yeah, owned yeah, yeah. So he did was, he hustle him too? No, 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 what he was trying to do was, he <laughs> okay. So he paid, like uh, Matthew Knowles had like some type of event you know what I mean? Some, you know, I don't know. You know how Matthew knows he's doing some type of event. But so he pays to go to this event and he pretends like he's worked out some type of deal with Matthew Knowles to put out this record with Flip. So, you know what I mean? He didn't pay for the studio time and, you know, he didn't pay to get Flip on his record. And he's telling Flip the whole time that, you know, hey, we about to, uh, you know, I'm about to take this Matthew Knowles. I got, you know, got you already set the meeting. We about to do this, 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 this. The whole time is just bullshit. He just, he just, yeah. just and that a was, real that was like damn in, con well, artist, right? Yeah. That was like in two, what, 15? No, no, that was. Damn, when was that? Yeah, because he came out of jail jumping on that MAGA train. So that was the that was the the uh, when was Trump elected? Two seventeen, two seventeen. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. He, so yeah. so I guess right. It was right after the election. Then I guess mm -hmm. so. He so, was playing his card. Yeah. Yeah, well, if you go to YouTube now, you see all kinds of songs. All kind. So it was like, how would you believe? Uh, you know, you. So, so that's he, what made you start yeah, wondering. So, so, but this is crazy. Now he now he comes up with a Trump letter. He actually forges a Trump letter, and I have the letter in my possession. I'll give it to you. <laughs> but uh, basically saying that Trump had hired him to be the R&B artist for Trump, signed and forged Trump's signature, and um, gave it to me and my family saying, February 28th, and we didn't ask for anything but our money. That's all we asked for, nothing else. And you keep coming up with different things. Yeah, every, coming just, up just, it was every just, day. it was just, and you know, I how, think, long, I think the how reason long why he going, keeps doing this? How long this? was this going on from the, from six the moment? Months, six months, now, So when did he give you that Trump letter compared to when you first started asking him for that money back? Uh, so the Trump letter, he gave it to us, um, I think he said February, um, in February. So uh, when did you start asking him for that money? I've been asking, you know, it was one, th it, the money kept going up. So it's been one thing after the other. But when I finally realized right. that, man, this is a scam, was March 11th, actually. Was That's my what birthday. I was trying to figure yes. out. March 11th, 2022, my birthday. And I literally just opened Facebook that day. And a woman who, she finally, we're friends till this day, who, um, he was his victim, came up and said, if you know this guy and has taken any money from you, reach out to me immediately. And that journey has taken me to where I am right now and continues. So that's, that's what we're working on. My goal is to get a centralized place where we'll get um, all his victims, we'll get all his victims to tell their story one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is so crazy. It is. It so is. Um, with doing this documentary, um, this documentary, you have in hopes to just make everybody else aware of what's going on and probably have other people step up. Courage. Just get, just through my story, where I'm hoping that people will build the courage to step up. I know it's okay. But I'm sure not everybody he has scammed, he has been in a relationship with because you're not the first one that he has But has I think a lot of people in. are embarrassed too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, to, just, tell just to tell the story. Because yeah. I mean, you know, we're from a, a a different time period to where you didn't tell your business. Mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? Now, if but this, when you lose that much money. Well, but I'm saying if you know, but think about 
how many times you watched Oprah or Jenny Jones or Ricky Lake or something. Or the and news and they and, talk about it. And they talk about a situation like that and you be like, damn, you know what I mean? And then it just, you know, you move on to the next day. So you don't really think about that it's, there are people that are actively out here making a living off of other people's lives. Right. So, and then when you become a victim, you know, you have to think about the embarrassment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, people don't want to be... shaming. It's very shameful. And then, I was and then, and then, and then most people, like, close people, family members, they have nothing but negativity to mm -hmm. say. You know what I mean? There's no... They're positive. saying, you should have known better. You yes. should have this. It's, it's no positivity exactly. to offer. So who wants to put themselves through that? To yeah. through that ridicule on top of right. everything yeah. else. That, on top of having to rebuild your life, get yeah. your money back, and then now you're getting ridiculed. You just have a kind heart. That's it's, what it uh, is. That, that's all it is. And I'm learning the lessons. But the truth is, I've always had a kind heart, but never been scammed. It. I think it was meant, when I look back, it was meant to happen. I was just about to tell you. I can I, tell I you was that. just about to tell he, you that. There is no way except for the fact that God wanted this somehow to happen. And that's why I'm here today with you. I was see, just about to tell you that. See, that's, that, you know, that's some type of, you know, African and Jamaican connection, <laughs> you know what I mean, to where I, I, don't, I do not feel no, like that at no, all. No, because let absolutely. me tell you, let me tell I you. I don't see the divinity in it at all. Uh, I, like, absolutely. I, I look at this, I look at absolutely. everything we go through in life, no matter how bad it is, it's a it's for a reason. It's happening for It's not reason. always for you. Mm -hmm. It's for other people around you Absolutely. sometimes. You know what Absolutely. I mean? God don't just put us through things for nothing just to say, oh, I'm just going to pick on this person today. The truth is I didn't deserve it. It doesn't matter what, you know, what anybody says, I didn't deserve it. But what am I going to do with what has happened? Right. Again, I am a psych nurse practitioner, so I understand firsthand what that could have done to, so I know how I felt, and I don't want anyone to feel that way. And that's why I'm doing it. And like you said, it's not even for me, because even till the day he went to jail, August 1st, which, you know, we worked very hard, he was still scamming people. And you know what scamming the difference children. is? Children. Children. The difference is, because when I see things like this on the news, it's always elderly. Yeah. And you're not elderly. Not at all. You know, you always, because I always think about, I always she call got my a mom. a lot of money. But, no, but still, I always, <laughs> I always call like my resources. mom. I always tell her, I said, don't be giving nobody your social. Don't yeah, be giving out money. I don't be, know. you know, because that's what you think about is your mom or your, you know, somebody older. But he does hurt, he hurts women and children. And to me, I'm very passionate about that. Um, you know, he dates the women. And then he tells the children, usually older women, he does. You know, I can tell my story, I'm, I, you know, very boldly because I wasn't in that situation, but it's still the same suffering. Yeah, but you probably gave out more money than everybody. Yeah, well, I guess so. Yeah, How did you yeah. get over that depression? Um, so I was depressed for two for, years. For two years. More, two years. Um, and it didn't only come with being scammed. I was slandered in the process because he would tell lies, he even told lies that me and him were somewhat in some kind of relationship. Never met this man. Actually talked to my children, my whole family. So, but that's not the point. Is I uh, I had to use everything I've told people for 17 years doing psych nursing on myself. I had to start giving myself. How my hard was advice. that? Very hard. It was either sink or swim and I don't sink. Did you did how hard was this on your marriage though? Um it could have easily caused a divorce. But my husband, um, Bones met him. He's really cool. Cool guy. dude. Very he cool from guy. Southern Louisiana. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. he says awesome. whatever girl, just awesome. get yeah, we're yeah. gonna get this money. Yeah. Don't even trip. He doesn't so even care about retired, the money. Retired military, Listen. retired ROTC teacher. No, 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 no. He he's a, he, he don't care about the money because he's getting money. That's what no, I'm trying no, to tell you. That's not why. I mean, he gotta be. No. He's just he's Y'all yeah, went over to a half a million dollars in minutes. <laughs> Listen, trust um trust and believe that 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 money cost us a lot of pain and suffering. A it lot set of you pain back. And suffering. Uh, it's still setting me back till now. Except that, you know, I went. I was in school at the time, going to MP school. My sister was in um, RN school, which I was paying, paying for. for her. And you know, I don't even know how I finished school. I don't know how I passed my boards. I don't know how my sister. I just don't know how it happened. So all I'm gonna say is. Uh, 
there was a blessing in everything. And I, I need to find out the end of this story. That's what I'm going to, that's what I'm trying okay, to do. Okay, I got to get back to bank, uh, Bone Rain call and say he want me to call him. Oh, call and, him real and quick. And say, because uh, I told him, you, I, you, I'm learning more and more about you every day, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Call him, call him. I wish I could have been. Why you didn't invite me? I said, nigga, I don't know. You own it every day. Yeah. Hold on. Why is it? Hello, hello. Hello. Hey, what's up with it? Hey, I got bone here. This hey, rain water. What's going on, man? So bone. <laughs> so bone. What's up, Ryan? So I gotta pick a bone with you. Okay. All right. So so I'm gonna say one thing about me actually bone that I ever had. Right? So you said that you didn't get the back end, right? And Colleen, <laughs> no. I told you you get the back end, Colleen. Don't uh, don't switch it up. What? And Colleen, that's why I said Colleen. That's what I told you. So 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 I got videos of you still performing. With that little light skinned girl next to you? Yeah, that's that's my baby mama. I just told her I had just made a baby that night. Yes, I know you got videos of me performing. So you mean to tell me that you just I you just let me take your money in your face and you still performed? No. Or or, or let me tell you this. Or let make it clear. That you didn't get the back end that you thought you were gonna get because you didn't get the back end that you thought you was gonna get because I got my money off top. Okay, well then I guess that would be correct. I don't know if the, I I, I, didn't, I got I think I think I got I didn't get no money that night, right? I didn't get no money. Yes, you did because this is the problem. I booked you for five hundred. and I told her a thousand dollars. I put my money on top, and the thing was, you found out in front of me. No, I didn't. You didn't give me. That's what it was. I didn't care about that thousand, right? Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't care about that. So I didn't care about what you gave. You didn't give me nothing. That's why I was saying we was at the restaurant, and I was like, Rain, when you gonna pay me? Rain, when you gonna pay me? You're like, Well, I'm gonna got you tonight. I got you tonight. So I had to go to the lady to get the guy the other two fifty from the lady. She the one that gave me the two fifty. You didn't give it to me. I understand it. So you did get your backhand, right? Yeah, not from you. So, so, e, e, so let me tell you where. Okay, the, but but rain. Okay, this was now this this after the trip to Hawaii. This when everybody when you come back. This yeah, he, he, he not, no no this before he never went to. Hawaii. Oh, this, okay. I didn't go to Hawaii. No, 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 party boy, 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 boy went to Hawaii. See, I didn't do that. I already knew it was some bullshit. When they said, but Hawaii with rainwater. Fuck no, hell no. I ain't no. Boom, boom, boom. Let's be real. Your song wasn't big enough. I mean, <laughs> this nigga hit low. I mean, you know, that's a perspective. You didn't go go. You, 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 your song wasn't big enough to go to Hawaii, so it wasn't no problem in Hawaii. Everybody went got paid their money. They went. You, your song was big. See, the problem was with you oh, was no, you, no, you, you were too arrogant when your song was hot and, and, and your song was bigger than you. It was bigger than your name. So at the end of the day, I can tell you one thing, but the song was bigger than your name. You was too arrogant that, that the song passed you up in, oh, and passed no. you up in life. So at the end of the day, yeah. I ain't gonna say in life, but I, I, but I ain't gonna say in life. I ain't gonna say in life, but my song, my song is. Is bigger than me, like, and I was super arrogant, and I was a dickhead when I was, uh, when, when, when you know, when everything was going good for me, I was arrogant and I was a dickhead as much as I possibly could be. I completely agree with you. Any any opportunity that I got to treat you like shit, I did. So I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree with you on that. So, so everything that you're saying is completely true about me. The problem was is oh, the promoter supposed to give nobody the back end. You're supposed to get it from the owner. The problem was is that's why I surpassed them boys right there because they were just worried about it. they was goofy and they and they didn't understand what I was telling them. I ain't gonna They're say surpassed, gonna, like you know, know what I mean. Like listen, I went to listen, I went to jail and got my own artist and told him what to do. That's why he's the biggest artist and got more class than the mix ever would get. More money than ever because they didn't listen. Even with Bone, with his events with Def Jam, the, the, the person that he believed in, they took so much money that Bone didn't get nothing. Bone didn't have a. This is true. He's absolutely true about that. Uh, the dude he talking about, Torrance Riff, they, they took everything. He's right. Rainwater right about that. I do own my masters. I do own my masters. <laughs> yeah, I gave her a bigger percentage. I had to do that. Yeah, so at the end of that the day, was they, love. They, 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 listen, they, they, the boys' business wasn't right. They looked down and shitted on me. They shitted on me the whole time. They but he was right about that. My business was not right. But Rainwater, but you looking at it, you're talking about doing good business after doing 
20 years of bad business. Like, like that's crazy. Like you're talking, you're talking like, like, okay, rainwater. What, what did you tell me the first day? I, the first day I ever met you uh, at that, at that little small strip club in, in North Dallas. What did you tell me? What did I tell you? What was that, Bay He told, he told, he told me Slim Thug just heard you on the radio. He want to sign you. Slim Thug wasn't even in Dallas. Like he literally told me that the first day I met him. So, so you go. So that was the first day I met you, Rainwater. So you go from that to now. You big rain, big chain. You on no jumper. You getting money. You, you, you know what I'm saying. Big manager. You did good shit with uh, with, with, with Mo Three. Hey, I clap for it. Hove always told us to clap for him. Always. But, but if we're just being honest, you know what I'm saying. Who you are as a person is, you know what I mean. Not the same as who you are as a businessman. It's not the same. You, you, you are, you are as a person as a person you're the type of person willing to do anything when you huh i'm on my way y'all stay right there okay <laughs> <laughs> all right come on we, we, i'm waiting on you pull up pull up he's <laughs> like yeah, here we go. He coming. Is I know he, he coming. coming. Yeah, he he's definitely. love it. He's oh, love he's definitely it. coming. He's yeah, definitely yeah, he coming. doesn't want to talk. Well, he, he just he, a he boy. Think, you think we need to run away? No. That's <laughs> from Rain like it. Rain not like that. From Rain He just like to get his point across. Okay, all right. Okay. One thing, that, no, we ain't like that. But at any rate, you you ought to be the toughest one out of everybody. I'm just, <laughs> shit, you need to take more than anybody. You need to see this. <laughs> really? Yes. My cheese moils, my men just, roo, 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 roo. Oh, no. <laughs> So let's get, let's well, go, I let's, have a question. Hold on. Yeah. How did y'all meet? Y'all two. Okay. So uh, my engineer in Austin, uh, Rock Ali. Uh, if y'all live in Austin, go to Monotop Studios. Uh, he um, he had built a relationship with her, and he told me that uh, that I needed to get involved with the documentary because uh, um, she had been trying to get it off the ground, but she just couldn't really get it off the ground. And so, and like I said, I don't you know, do this type of stuff, but he was like, oh, you gotta, so I, you know, I jumped out there and you know, we got it done. So, you know. Yeah, so I went to Texas. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna tell you something about, about him before so you say something. So you're not from here? No, I'm, I live in Virginia. She oh, lived, okay. No, she live in, uh, uh, she live in Richmond. That doesn't surprise okay. me. But anyway, I'm <laughs> why, just talking why, about you, why? man. Yeah, no, because I know how he is. He international. <laughs> I done figured him out. He okay. put me on a whole nother level. Yeah. He knows so many things. Yeah. That rainwater yeah. situation, I already know how you are. That's great. I should have had him up here, didn't I? I said that. I was like, yeah, but I had his nigga on all the time. But he makes for good conversation. He knows the history like you. Yeah, definitely. Y'all know the history. I don't know the damn history. Yeah, I, I mean, I was there. But see, Rainwater was there. But Rainwater was there. You, Rainwater's perspective is has always have to be taken. I have to say this before you get up here. Okay. <laughs> his perspective has always needs to be partaken from a promoter's perspective. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm a rapper. You know what I mean? I... Made a song during the boogie movement. I got hot. I got a deal. You know what I'm saying? Rainwater don't make music. No, no, no. Rainwater, but Rainwater has always been around the music. Yeah. Whether it be standing outside a random fucking strip club in North Dallas, trying to catch a nigga going in, or to find, finding a nigga in jail that's really, really good and telling them what to do and turning them into a platinum artist. Like, Rainwater has always been around the music, but he don't make music. No. So he don't understand how artists feel about yeah. things. Yeah. He only st looks at it from a promoter. Now, what are promoters? Promoters are looking to bring people to a venue to maximize their profit. Rainwater's only objective in everything he does is to maximize profit. <clears throat> I'm doing this documentary with her. It's not to maximize profit. Mm -hmm. It's to expand my wings, uh, expand my promote portfolio, help somebody that got scammed, get get something dumb in in this hip hop community. So it's not somebody. Cause what if she wanted to invest four hundred into an artist? You know what I mean? That's four hundred. That could have made somebody platinum. That could have changed somebody's life. But instead, a fuck nigga got the 400, yeah. fucked it off, strip club, bought chains, you know what I'm saying? Cars, strip club, Ubers, yeah. you know, hotels. Really you know what I mean? It. Like, instead. Yeah. But, but you, you, okay, you said something a while ago that kind of, you was an artist, right? Mm -hmm. But the bone I meet today, because of all you've been through and the way that you handle yourself now, yeah. 
is a whole different ball of wax. You that's know what, what I'm saying? That's what he tells I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I'm a, I'm a, but you, now, past tense, you can, yeah, you can, you're going to be like, yeah, I did this, this, that. But present tense? Yeah. It's like, nah, nigga, but I that, know everything about this stuff. But that's what I'm saying. saying but that's, that, but that's, it. But that's yeah. why the argument with rainwater is always like what it is because it, it's a seesaw. Beforehand, I was up here and rainwater was down here. Now I'm down here and rainwater's up yeah, here. So he, he it's the game. It. So yeah, of course. And he, he, you know, it, like like he even said, yeah, I don't make any. You ain't big enough to go to Hawaii. All these are the, I had offers to go to Hawaii. I turned them down. Yeah, so I didn't want to go to Hawaii because I had more, I had more opportunity. They was trying to pay me. Uh, 15 in a room to go to Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? And I had another show for 35 uh, in, uh, in two rooms somewhere else. I took 35 instead of taking the 15 to go to Hawaii. So it wasn't a, a situation where I couldn't go to Hawaii. I could have went to Hawaii. Me, I, I chose more money. This. I got to ask you this. Like, what do you see like now, you know, far as what's when you see the way they did back then, you, you, we, Y'all always get your money. That part ain't no problem for y'all. Y'all been getting money forever, right? Mm -hmm. But when you when you look at that go rain again. I hear this nigga calling back. We still here. We 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 on we on here talking. Hey, don't leave. I'm thirsty. I'm leaving. I left my house for this. <laughs> I'm here. We ain't going I'm nowhere. Say, I'm, I'm gonna stay here and wait on you. I'm gonna stay here and wait on you, Rain. I'm gonna stay here and wait on you. How long? Uh, he's about that? thirty minutes. You say you thirty minutes away. Where no. you coming from? I'm gonna change your shirt anyway. I'm gonna give you a boss talk shit. I'm 30 minutes away. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be like a whole different all right, show. All right, man. I'm gonna stay here and wait on you. All right. He just wanna get in here and talk. He loves doing podcasts, bro. <laughs> he this nigga be doing He makes so much money off of it. Everybody it. watches him. He's gonna bro, go he's, crazy he's now. Super when he fit. get here, yeah, they gonna, know, he's gonna go crazy. It's gonna, the number's gonna go up because he that's what he does. Yeah, he's really? super. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she say, really? <laughs> well, I don't but I'm gonna give you a boss talk shirt. But you gotta understand, she's. Nurse practitioner See, working home. She don't, she don't even understand. Like I was telling him, when we about to go do this. I was like, you it's don't even go crazy. You don't even understand. And if he's, well, if he asked, he gonna, he would ask you some crazy stuff about what you going through. What? Oh, oh no, yeah, he oh, no, about all no, this. definitely. I'm gonna have Rainwater give his opinion about it. Once, yeah. once, when Rainwater once, gives his opinion, it's, get, oh, yeah. it's gonna be hilarious. And then about what? Uh, about the situation with Andre. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh yeah. he gonna be talking. <laughs> but but you gotta look at it. He part Rainwater part scammer too. So you know what I mean. He probably he probably he probably gonna have some sympathy for you Andre. Yeah, he <laughs> well, 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 yeah, he gonna, he gonna blame her all the way. Why, 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 he definitely that's gonna blame why. her. He's definitely gonna have sympathy. The one that's coming here to meet you because you be looking for his trouble. <laughs> no, no, I think, I think yeah. that's, what, that's what this podcast world is about. Like, yeah. not just trouble, but just real. So many people yeah. are fake when you see yeah. them doing things. Yeah. We watch the fake news for so many years. We're people portraying the image. News. So when they see real conversation, people they just, love it. that's why podcasts go crazy. Because it's just organic. Well, I try Andre, to get Andre you to tell to, me uh -huh. the, 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 the price, amount? yeah, the amount. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, in a, maybe on another the podcast. The next podcast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let, me see, let me see how, <laughs> how this one goes. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah. 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 I'll come to Virginia. Hey, That's hey, nothing come, to me. Come to Virginia. I'll come to Virginia. Well, I'm about to say when y'all want to come because yeah. got, we got to go back out there. We'll uh, be in October 4th. He'll be October 4th. He'll be there for my for the court date. For the court date. October 4th. We were going to be in Virginia in January. Okay. Because my cousin is graduating from the Navy. What oh, city? good, good. Portsmouth, um, Portsmouth area. Portsmouth, Virginia Beach. Virginia, area. Oh, yeah, so yeah, the beach. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's yeah. the area. Portsmouth, Virginia Beach. Okay, yeah. let me know when y'all do that. I'll set up the podcast down there. I got, yeah, I'll bring this stuff. Yeah. Everything. I got, it's a restaurant out there called, uh, called The Rue. Oh, my God. They cook like they from Louisiana. I really? swear to God, shot me. Can like, shoot, can can cook. Cook, man. I'm talking about man in there cook like he from Louisiana the whole night. Made some lobster bisque, like whole nine for me. Mm. That's hard, man. I just, I, 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 I'm listening, and man, I, I, I hate what you went through, yeah. but I understand how it could happen. I got scammed once. Let me go and tell you that <laughs> right up the street from here. I had okay. Let, let's do, let me. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm getting sorry. over it. You remember what I'm doing? <laughs> I'm you know, sorry. I was basically I, here, right? Like, no, yes. I'm. I'm. I'm not, it, it hurt me, but <laughs> oh, no. okay. So my computer. I'm not gonna blame it on nobody, but she light skinned like you. <laughs> Uh, uh, so my computer screen on my brand new MacBook Pro end up cracking. So I close it, crack, crack. You know, it had already cracked. I said, damn, my screen cracked. But I didn't have Apple Care. <laughs> so I go to the phone immediately and I put in Apple, Apple Care. Yeah, I know. And when I did, 
I get on the phone, they say, yeah, we, uh, yeah, this is our The first one that put yeah. out. The yeah. first one. Oh, they got me like that. Oh, yeah. Got me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want the Walmart, got a Google <laughs> card. <laughs> I didn't want the Walmart, got a Google card for $50. Nah, mine was uh, 100 and something, right. wasn't it? Because right. yeah. I'm buying Apple Care. I'm like, okay, they're like, oh, yeah, we'll replace that screen. That won't be a problem. No, but once he told me that he was going to go I buy say, a card, I said, that don't sound right. No, I went, <laughs> I went right from here. He still did it. And I did it too. I feel, I'm talking about. And when I, I did, I, I called him back. They still going to get me again. They said, okay, well, can you go get another no. one? No. Yeah, they told me to no. get another So I'm at Walmart. I'm in the Walmart parking lot, right? Like, I'm not about to spend another $50. Fuck this. I'm not finna do this. Fuck this. I'm not finna do this. Fuck I went through yeah, it. Fuck they're it. bold. They're bold. So this fucking, is- so I go, I go and I call back and I gave him a fake number or something. They said, no, this is not go through. Can you try to get I said, nah, this is it. This is it. So I argue with him, right? For just, just to argue with him for 15 minutes, right? Just to keep him on the phone, keep talking to him. I said, okay, well, I'm gonna go get another car. Just stay on the phone with me. Stayed on the phone the whole time, right? Just, you know what I mean? Just, I said, man, this can't be real. Don't nobody, the customer service tell you they'll call you back. They ain't nobody finna stay on this phone with you. 30 minutes. Minutes, why you Man, did it? It was a hundred and I think mine was a hundred and fifty. Yeah. But you got to move that hurt. Yeah. Oh, I was mad. I was mad, mad, mad as hell. That fuck up your whole day. I but said, you know what, what the they hell do? Am I doing? They're paying. They're paying Google yeah. to pop up first. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what they do. You can do that. Yeah. And I learned that. It. It. Just, just like it. Mike and I told me that. Like Mike and I, because I called him. I said, "Hey man, are you supposed to be?" He said, "No, bone. You got scammed." I said. <laughs> So me and you both been victims. But, but, and you be so angry. You know what I mean? But I can't you, can't, you can't you touch nobody. You can't do nothing. Indians with me. They just talking here. But let me tell you, you have from to now go. on, every time after that happened, I will go on their website, go to the bottom where it says customer support yeah, or whatever. Look for that, hun- that oh, yeah, definitely. Hundred number. Yeah. Definitely. No, no. If it, you that, Google yeah. Apple, the first one come up. Do it's not, done. guys. Do it's not. Do, not do, do the not do the first one because mm-hmm. that is. And they're going to have an Apple shirt on. They're going to be low. The same technique is being used. Oh, no. They, 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 they doing their thing. No. Tell, Andre, Andre had a podcast just before everything fell on his Andre be kidding. He just had a. I mean, he had a podcast. He had a podcast. That nigga is. He's, he's a real deal. You can look him up. Can still... look it up. Yep. What Andre? Yep. What Andre Van? Geppetto Jackson. Yeah, it, Geppetto it'd Jackson. probably be the Geppetto Jackson podcast yeah. or the Mega he's Jackson. Podcast. Because Andre Van is his real, real name. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. exactly yeah. yeah. right. Uh, Geppetto. G E P E T T O. You know what Geppetto means, right? Geppetto. Yeah, yeah like the Geppetto. Like is on the Pinocchio. The guy, the guy who oh. wrote Pinocchio. Yeah, yeah, the guy, yeah. the guy that made Pinocchio. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the, guy, he the guy that made the Geppetto was the guy yeah. that made Pinocchio. Wow. Yeah. He say he, he say he'll Jackson on this bitch. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, and he he didn't man, he, 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 he got a, nigga got an S curl. Yeah. Nigga had an S curl whole nine with the, with yeah. the shit. Yeah, he pays people S to, to like do a DNA on, on <laughs> S curl like a motherfucker. Now you know how yeah. committed you gotta be to get an S curl looking like his. Yeah. I mean, he pays people to say that he did a DNA on Jackson. Janet. That's okay, it. okay, okay. So, look, yeah. okay let me yeah. tell you. Let me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you what he do. Right, he paid. Uh, uh, meet and greets three hundred, four hundred dollars for the meet and greet. Go back there and take picture and be like, oh, I'm with my fam. Geppetto was out I was with, with wow. Janet and got it on his page. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? And he put a he put a whole video together. No, with it. no, he was in the crowd. He didn't pay five thousand dollars for front row tickets, right? And the, they they had made a little video uh, on on the news of the Janet Jackson concert, and of course he was in the front, so they got because he's wearing his, that outfit. Because he got you know he got his, he looking like yeah, them. Yeah, he well, got it. no well, no no he got his Islamic outfit on. So they oh. was trying to you know what I mean. So you know you got a bunch of and he getting the album here, bro. That's no, no. that's the Mean Greek. We can that's go do that right now. at The next Jackson show. We put, how much was the uh, Mean Greek? Did we do we did we it? Did, how we much, did how it. Much it was it? like a hundred dollars something like that. We pay hey we pay two hundred we pay two hundred dollar right now. Me and you we can go to we go we. We can go do the that Jackson, same thing. I got the picture. Us, yeah. I got I got the picture but in the my phone. But the bell with him, though. But cut, they paid them Jack the Man. Them niggas like 70 years old, bro. They, them <laughs> niggas don't know nothing, bro. Them <laughs> niggas just keep taking money and singing yeah, songs. They, yeah. Bro, you got to think. They ain't never had no job. Like, what do they know how to do other than what Joe told them to do? Nothing. <laughs> they don't know nothing but sing. So, shit, they no. just... Get your pedal. Your yeah. pedal working. Your pedal's always working. Look at the working. chains. Like, where you get these chains from? 
from the females who yeah, he scammed. Yeah, Dang. poor woman. Nah, that nigga scamming ain't. Nah, yeah. they, nah, he a different. He he's a, he he really he's really a con man. Yeah. So maybe his mama taught him this because you said yeah. she's in this well, with him. Yeah, his mom is so in it with him. She actually, used to, he actually pays her money. He um, looks just like it. his daddy. She probably used to nah, do it. Yes. Fuck no, yeah. he looks just like his daddy. And he don't look like Jermaine Jackson at all. That nigga don't look <laughs> nothing <laughs> like Jermaine Jackson. <laughs> You saw his he podcast. got a picture right beside him. Yep, now, he started doing the podcast. I'm he talking about don't look nothing yeah. like Jermaine Jackson. And what? And, and, and so he just picked you to play. He been playing but on he, you. It, it he ain't, been it playing ain't just, on you for like five. But how many years. people? Do he know you? Does he no, know not, you for, not, no, not me. Well, I met. Like I said, I met him as Megan Walsh. Remember? So, but I have chased him down. Have you spoken okay. to Megan? So I have spoken to Megan. I the did. real Megan. The real Megan. Okay. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah, and too. what does she he have to say too. about this whole situation? Mm, she, on she, the, she, 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 she's a, a little eccentric, mm. but she, she's more focused on the whole uh, kidnapping of the kids and stuff mm. like that. She's already gone through. I'm doing the podcast right now. I just have to call you live. DJ Memphis, Hollywood, Las Vegas, Nevada. Shut up! Yeah. What up? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you ever in Vegas, look up DJ Memphis Hollywood. He's the plug. You know, he my plug. I usually don't give out my plugs like that, but you know what I'm saying? Show them niggas some love. It's boss talk, so we gonna do it like that. You know what I'm talking about? We gonna let it go. But that's all I wanted, bro. I just wanted to get you famous real quick. Real okay. talk. Vegas make you famous. Step 21st. You already know. Say, say, man, listen, man. Hey, first of all, thank you for coming on the thank show. Thank you so MK. much. Thank you. And thank you. Bone, mm -hmm. we for the we for the close it down, man. I just want to say, man, uh, Bone, man. Um, when the documentary come out, will we get to display it on the show? I want to. Oh, wanna, definitely, definitely, definitely. I send it. I send it to you when I get back to the hotel. Please do so. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. I want to clip it in and just show a little bit. Whenever when is it gonna come out? Is it already oh, Friday? Out? Friday. So Friday. When it, I want to. Where is it gonna stream? It's gonna be on YouTube. Uh, but I'm working on the two we will see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, well, I'm sure Sick know how to do it. Well, well, I, we gonna put it on there. Sick, sick, sick. Already got. He already told me. Yeah, like when we I we gonna get it. It's gonna be on there eventually. I just, I just gotta go to L. A. Well, man, thank I you just so much like for coming on the show, man. We love so you. Much. Man. Thank you for listening to my story. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One, where the bosses talk. And we out. Man.